How's it going mates? Press the like button under this video because we are getting started. Let's get the show on the pitch. Real Madrid left back Fran Garcia has suffered an ankle injury and could miss the Madrid derby against Atletico. Ollie Watkins is the first player in the Premier League this season to score 10 plus goals and provide 10 plus assists. Against Osasuna, Vitor Roque came on and scored after just one minute. Against Alaves, he came on and scored after four minutes. Kylian Mbappe wants to play at both UEFA Euro 2024 and the Olympic Games in Paris this summer. This is an important part of his negotiations with Real Madrid. Bayern Munich have confirmed that defender Alfonso Davies has suffered a ligament strain in his left knee. He could miss three to four weeks of action. Richarlison now has nine goals in his last ten games for Tottenham Hotspur. Girona forward Artem Dovbik has picked up an injury. There is a small damage. We are conducting a thorough investigation, the Ukrainian commented. Jovic is a decisive player for AC Milan. He isn't getting a lot of playing time, but he uses it to help the team, Stefano Pioli stated. Bayer Leverkusen have set a new club record for the longest unbeaten run in their history with 29 games. The semi-final pairs of the African Cup of Nations were distributed as follows. Nigeria will face South Africa and Ivory Coast will battle DR Congo. The AFC Asian Cup semi-finals fixtures have been confirmed. Jordan will play against South Korea and Iran will face Qatar. Thomas Müller is the first player in Bayern history to reach 500 competitive wins for the club in the Bundesliga. Barcelona will appeal the second yellow card for which Vitor Roque was sent off on Saturday against Alaves. The matter was reported by Deco and Xavi. My future? When the time is right, the club will decide. We will decide. Stefano Pioli commented on rumors of his possible sacking. Ilka Gintuan has already delivered 9 assists this season. His best career number. White Chesney has rejected Juventus' offer to extend the contract. The White and Blacks offered the player a long-term deal, but with a reduced salary. Mattia Zule has become the first player ever to score at least 10 goals for Frosinone in a single Serie A season. Now the referees just let everything go and leave the VAR to pick up the scraps, believes the head coach of Tottenham, Ange Postecoglou. Kane equaled Luca Tani's record after scoring his 24th Bundesliga goal. The Italian also netted 24 goals in the German league in his debut year at Bayern. It happened back in the 08-09 campaign. I think we are paying for the Negreira case. You have already seen it today, but I'm not gonna talk more about the referees. Another mistake again. Here's how Xavi said regarding Vitor Roque's controversial red card. Kepa Arizabalaga will return to Chelsea. Real Madrid will bet on Courtois and Lunin as the goalkeepers for next season. Cancelo's price could be around 25 million euros this summer. Barca will try to lower it because they feel they have an advantage. The player's absolute desire to join the Blaugrana and no one else. Chelsea midfielders Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo have deactivated their accounts on X, formerly Twitter, following criticisms and abuse from the fans. Ronaldo leaves, Ramos leaves, Benzema leaves, Casillas leaves, and the club keeps going. Why? Because they manage and deal with it perfectly, Diego Simeone noted. Tottenham have now conceded 8 goals in the 90th minute this season. They're most in a single Premier League campaign and the most of any side in the division this term. I'm happy that the transfer window has closed and none of our footballers have come out, said Girona head coach Michel. Militao will return in April or at the end of March. He is starting to feel very good, Ancelotti shared. Arsenal are plotting to extend Takehiro Tomiyasu's contract in the upcoming weeks. I didn't watch my diet, but I didn't eat burgers every day. It's impossible to do that for 16 years. I didn't think it was important. I'm a hedonist. I love to eat and drink with friends. Diet is nonsense. It doesn't work, as are told L'Equipe. Sheffield United have conceded 59 goals in their 23 Premier League games this season. The most of any side at this stage of a top-flight campaign since Fulham in 1965-66, also 59. If I came in and we didn't win the Premier League, it would have been like, you came in and destroyed everything, Erling Haaland thinks. A match against Inter? It'll be a great clash. We still need to score a lot of points to reach our goal, which is the Champions League. However, it's not a decisive turning point. With three points, you can recover and lose them in a few games, Massimiliano Allegri claimed. Napoli have excluded midfielder Piotr Zelinski from the team's Champions League squad. He is close to striking an agreement with Inter, whom he may join in the summer. Inter are interested in signing Adrian Rabiot as a free agent. 
the club may sell Nicola Barella in the summer. Who was stronger than me? Messi is perhaps the only one. Cristiano is a bigger player than me, but in terms of pure football, I honestly don't think so. Eden Hazard said. Guys, if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, then you should do so right now. Thank you. Alright, all results of yesterday's match day in world football are in your screens. Moving on to the main news of the release. And now a brief recap of yesterday's fixtures. We are starting off with the Bundesliga where Bayern Munich and Bayer Leverkusen won their respective matches. Leverkusen beat Darmstadt 0-2, while Munich dealt with Borussia Mönchengladbach 3-1 thanks to goals from Pavlovich, Kane and De Ligt. The title race is still on. Next up, Serie A, where the highlight of the day was Milan's hard-fought 2-3 triumph over Frosinone, with Jovic scoring the winner in the 81st minute. As for the Premier League, Tottenham ended up sharing points as Postecoglou's team failed to hold on to the lead during the match against Everton, despite a brilliant brace from Richarlison. And finally, La Liga, where Barcelona got its second straight win. This time, the Catalans outplayed Alaves 1-3, with Lewandowski, Gintewan and Vita Roque making the difference clear. We would also like to emphasize a rather unfair red card of the Brazilian who received a second yellow card for a non-existent foul. In the second main match of the day, Girona played a scoreless draw with Sociedad 0-0, giving Real Madrid the perfect opportunity to take the lead in the standings. Laminia Mal's rise has left Rafinha's future up in the air. Although the player wants to stay, he has a good name on the market and offers will be studied for him. Tottenham and other PL clubs have already contacted the player's entourage. The transfer saga of Joshua Kimmich continues. The German defensive midfielder may leave Bayern in the summer a year before his contract expires. Manchester City and Barcelona remain the favorites for the signature of the versatile footballer. PSG striker Kylian Mbappe has decided to join Real Madrid next season. It's indicated that the performer has already made his decision but is keeping it a secret, waiting for the right time to announce it. His current contract with PSG is valid until the end of the season, therefore, he can join Los Blancos as a free agent. Before the start of the season, Mbappe faced a suspension for allegedly agreeing to move to Real Madrid without compensation. All sanctions were lifted later on. The news is also confirmed by ESPN. Kylian Mbappe has decided to leave the Paris Saint-Germain and join Real Madrid as a free agent at the end of the season. The footballer has not yet informed any club about his decision, but he has already decided on his future. PSG offered him a salary increase, which currently amounts to 72 million euros per year. Besides, he will lose bonuses of about 100 million euros due to his switch to the Spanish giants. Among other things, he would earn about half as much at Real Madrid as at PSG. But this fact does not seem to have affected his decision. He always wanted to play for Real Madrid and believes that now it's the best time to do so. PSG have accepted Kylian Mbappe's departure and are already looking for his replacement. The 25-year-old Frenchman has not yet informed Parisian president Nasser al Khelaifi or any other manager of his choice, but pessimism is growing within the club. Real Madrid in turn are optimistic about the player's public confirmation of his intention to quit the French side in order to complete the deal. PSG's sporting management led by Luis Campos is already looking for Mbappe's successor, with one of the main options being AC Milan's Rafael Leao, whom Campos had invited to Lille a few years ago. The Portuguese's contract, which he extended last year, contains a 175 million euros release clause. Folks, check out these suggested videos from our other projects. Have a good time watching. Take care and see you in a bit.